Welcome to Gettysburg on a Budget, uncovering historic gems at DestinationGettysburg.com. This is what comes up. It has all about exploring Gettysburg and getting around town. National Park Service has an excellent site about the Gettysburg Battlefield and all sorts of information about it doesn't cost you anything to get onto the battlefield and you can drive around. Gettysburg National Park, Military Park, all about it. Welcome to the National Military Park. Here's a map. There's, there's road closures actually because they're having construction. It's nice to check on uh, all the places where you can drive and not drive. <laughs> Here's Gettysburg right here. We have road closures. I already opened that up. Now, when you go to Gettysburg, you're going to want to go and visit the battlefield. Here's the, one of the ways, one of the many ways to visit the battlefield that I would recommend. One is pick up this Gettysburg National Military Park official guidebook. I remember buying it back when it was only, I think, two seventy-five, but that was back in the seventies when I went to Gettysburg, and I was in college at the time at Mont Alto in Pennsylvania, not too far from Gettysburg. Official guidebook, nineteen ninety-nine, has lots of information, and if you get that and this link right here the unidescription.org and account and copy this down because this actually supplements the Gettysburg guidebook and you can use that while you're driving around the park you also need a map which we showed you earlier you could either get that also at the store here's the thing this has image and text and all sorts of things about and then they have narration for every spot you stop which which is a great thing to have this is one way to go to Gettysburg on a budget now that that together would cost you 20 bucks to get around now another way to do it is you can take the two-hour Gettysburg battlefield guided bus tour for $38. This is the recommended one. It's on an air conditioned bus. They also have a double decker bus, which does the same tour. And that's shown right here in this picture for $39. Now, the people that have submitted reviews to TripAdvisor, this is what we're on. And this is actually the site that you would purchase your tickets from. The recommend 90% of the people say that they prefer this bus tour over the double decker, and it's less expensive. You save a dollar. We have the heritage store, which is where you have a lot of the heritage. It has the museum, battlefield tours. This is the place where you shop, and you can get the book that I was showing you. And here's the store. and all sorts of exciting things. Now, some lesser known things in Gettysburg. We have the covered bridge. This is one of the oldest covered bridges in, in the United States. And also it is still standing. <laughs> You're only allowed to walk across it. You are not allowed to drive across it anymore because obviously it's made out of wood and it would not support traffic for too long before you get major problems. When I walked across it, you did have to watch out because I think there were some holes, but that might have been patched up by now. <laughs> that's over 50 years ago. And that's not what I wanted to have going off. Now, even more interesting gem 
is uh, you have Seminary Ridge Museum Education Center about the probably about the religious backgrounds of the area. Mon Alto, where I was, is, is a dry county. I don't know if it still is. Jenny Wade, the Jenny Wade house. You could tour the Jenny Wade house. Jenny Wade was the only civilian killed during the Battle of Gettysburg. Now, legend has it, the Battle of Gettysburg was over shoes from what I've heard, but I'm not sure exactly. July hours, 9 to 6 p.m. And adults for 12 bucks and self-guided, or we can have coming soon regular tours where somebody guides you around for $15 for $3 more. I think I could guide myself around a house. Also, upcoming events in Gettysburg, 100 Nights of Taps, May 9th through September 5th, the Baseball Tournament Festival, Museum in the Park, uh, Gettysburg Rec and Festival, Korean War Weekend, 70th Anniversary, and also Annual Military Weekend. This Lincoln Train Museum, I think I went into that one too. Uh, it's interesting place. The admission is a little bit much, but uh, not that bad actually. $9 and for active military, uh, $7. I guess all those retirees would have to pay $9. <laughs> Back to the park, we have the David Wills House, which admission is free to, and that is all free. I like free. Free is for me. I don't know if that'll be in the guidebook that I showed you earlier. I think that this guidebook. Now, places to stay. Let's cover places to stay because we want to stay there inexpensively. We have the Quality Inn in, Get in Gettysburg Battlefield. And I think this was not very expensive. Let, okay. I had that right there. Next one over. Super 8. We have that, which is a nice place to stay. All of the places that I... Oh, $94 a night. There we go. $94.50, actually. Popped up. Next one. Reserves.com, and we have Sleep Inn and Suites in Gettysburg. We're going to have the... Well, let's reserve to see if we get any, any pricing here. Reserve. Show me the prices. Oh, check rates right here. Check rates. I guess. Oh, here we go. <laughs> I had them earlier. That's it. That's why I'm getting a little bit. All right, $119 a night. That's not bad. And then Radisson. Who doesn't like the Radisson? $102.85 for a night stay there. We have Comfort Suites near Gettysburg Battlefield Visitor Center. That's 147. I wonder if they throw in a continental breakfast. Uh, breakfast, free hot breakfast. Yay! Now that can save you some money right there, especially if you got kids. And this Battlefield Guided Bus Tour and this is the other guided bus tour. Here's the air-conditioned one, and here's the double-decker. Bad Visit Gettysburg. It's a great place to find your history. There were shots made that were over a mile away with the sharpshooters from the Confederate and the uh, Union Army. And just amazing 